Look at this guy. He got married to this lady and they gave birth to a boy and a girl. The boy grew up and got married and also the girl. This couple gave birth to a boy and this gave birth to a girl. This guy is called a family tree. This calls this my wife and she calls him my husband. This calls this my son and he calls him my father. Also this calls this my daughter and she calls her my mother or my mom. The question here, what does this call this? This question one. And what does this call this? Question two. And what does this call this? Question three. And this to this four. And this to this five. And also this to this six. Six questions. I need now six answers. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now, pause the video and try to answer, then check with me. Mm -hmm. Well, question one. This calls this my grandson. And if she's a girl, he would say granddaughter. Two. This calls this my cousin. And we use cousin for both boys and girls. Three. This calls this my grandmother or grandma. Four. This calls this my father-in-law. Yes, your husband's dad is your father-in-law. Clear? Number five. This calls this my niece. And for boys, we could say my nephew. Number six. What does this call this? It's easy, guys. Come on. Go ahead and write the answer in the comments. I've known him for years. He's a close friend, an old friend, my best friend. So what's the difference between them? Well, a close friend means a good friend, someone you like or trust. And you may have two close friends or more. An old friend is someone you've known for a long time. And you may also have two old friends or more. Best friend. And this is the one friend you feel closest to. Only one. And back to the question here. I've known him for years. Four years here means a long time. So he's an old friend. This is the answer. Now, let's do something fun. Go to the comments now. I mentioned your best friend. For me, my best friend's name is Luke. What's your best friend's name? Mention him or her in the comments. Thank you for watching. As the oldest of three siblings, I've always been keenly aware of our age differences. When we were growing up, it felt like a big deal that I was four years older than my sister and two years older than my brother. But now that we're all adults, the age gap doesn't seem quite as significant. In fact, I find it interesting to compare where we are in our lives at different ages. For example, when I was the age my brother is now, 22, I was just starting my first job out of college, whereas he's already been in his career for a few years.